A new report shows how hard it is for lower income residents in northern Kentucky to find affordable housing. Local 12's James Pilcher found what a struggle it was for one single mother to find a place for she and her kids. It's part of her ongoing series, Childhood Poverty, Cincinnati's Crisis. Jaquetta Favors spent six months looking for a home big enough for she and six kids, two of whom are disabled. Her house in Ludlow costs her $1,200 a month, leaving her just $700 for other expenses. It was very hard to find because I had to go on Craigslist and do all this internet searching, and it's just been you know, hard. A new report from the National Low Income Housing Coalition says 66% of low income Kentuckians spend more than half of their income on housing. That means a large portion of our neighbors living in poverty can't afford much beyond a roof over their head. The problem is even worse in northern Kentucky because of higher rents and a lack of affordable housing. We primarily view the cause of homelessness as the lack of affordable housing. In Kentucky alone, our, for our extremely low income folks, we're already short 75,000 units. That's not the only problem according to the report. 28% of all renters in the Commonwealth are considered extremely low income. And 84% of those spend 30% or more of their earnings on housing costs, leaving little for other expenses like utilities and health care. And statewide, there are only 55 affordable units per 100 low-income residents. The Brighton Center's Jenny Wiley says one Bellevue resident spends more than $600 of their monthly $780 Social Security check on rent. Her whole income is going to go to, um, to her housing, which, you know, mm -hmm. it's just not sustainable. Covington Mayor Jill Meyer says 30% of those in poverty in Kenton County live in Covington. Yet a majority of the county's low-income housing is also located in Covington, leaving hundreds across northern Kentucky without proper housing options. This came to light in recent years as other communities such as Villa Hills and Fort Wright fought the construction of apartment complexes there. Affordable housing is one of those true regional issues where there are truly people in, throughout the region who need the help. So what will it take to add units beyond money? It's a question we'll continue to ask. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. And another issue that advocates continue to raise is that the region's affordable housing is located far from good paying jobs, many that are near the airport. You can read all the stories in the series right now at CincinnatiPoverty.com.